Okay, guys, uh, Max Anderson now. Uh, we'll start with Chris Bassinet. Hey, Max, what's allowed you to, you know, kind of have the start you've had uh, to your freshman year? I know you've always been able, a guy that's been able to, to swing a pretty good bat, but was it, has it been an easy adjustment for you or what's led you to kind of take the next step and, and be, you know, ready to go at the college level? Um, the biggest thing that I've noticed from the jump from high school to college is really the mental side and uh, having like a good approach when you're going into the games. And uh, if you're just listening to your coaches and the guys that have been there before, it really makes it a lot easier. Uh, the coaches will put together a good approach and you just kind of stay true to that. Uh, listen to a few of uh, some advice from the older guys that have been there and done that and just kind of not try and think too much when you're at the plate and just do what you've always done, play the game. Have you had a, you know, a welcome to college moment yet, whether it's been in practice or in a game where you go, oh, this, this is a little different than, than, than what I've been used to before? <laughs> yeah, uh, in the fall, there was a day where I don't think I touched the ball, probably the whole entire scrimmage. And it was kind of a, like, wow, I, I got to figure something out. And uh, a few of the older guys came up and talked to me the next day and I uh, kind of figured it out and just kind of got right back there. Had a short memory, didn't, didn't think about it. Got back to the approach and just kind of kept on playing baseball. Evan Bland. Hey Max, uh, what makes a guy like Cade Povich so hard to hit and how does somebody like that make you a better hitter? Oh yeah, Cade, he's just, he's always on attack. It feels like, it feels like a, uh, you're getting swarmed in the box when he's pitching. Um, he'll he'll attack you inside, outside uh, with every pitch that he has. And he just has that presence on the mound that he's in command at all times. Um, he'll, he makes you a better hitter by challenging you. Uh, because he's one of the better pitchers you'll see. Um, yeah, he's always on attack. And he's just um, a great pitcher that will – Maybe it'll bring the best out of you both. I was going to ask you, this is kind of a random one, but I, I've seen after some games where you do well and you guys win, guys like Kyle Perry are tweeting out your your headshot from the team uh, team roster. I'm curious, is there a story behind that, or do you get grief for that for some reason, or what's that all about? No, I think it's just a joke the older guys are doing. Uh, yeah, it's there's no, no story behind it. All right, Kevin Suits. Max, how much are you enjoying this? You know, the start to your college career, not just your personal success, but the team's success as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, it makes it a lot lot more fun. We're winning. Uh, but these guys, it's a blast just be able to play baseball and uh, just have fun playing the game. I mean, we got it taken away last year, and that was just kind of a big shot to all of us. And this year, you can really tell we're taking nothing for granted, and we're just having fun playing the game we all grew up loving. Uh, it's just, it's awesome to really uh, be able to play this game. And with a team like this, it makes it a lot more fun. And can you anticipate what the atmosphere may be like on Friday? You're back home and, um, you know, the weather looks like it could be pretty good this weekend and you're, you're a first place team at the moment. Yeah, I think the uh, atmosphere will be awesome. Uh, the Husker fans are always out there and they're always going to be behind our back uh, no matter how we're playing. Um, I think with... I think it'll help that there's going to be some nice weather, too, that uh, should get a packed house. Uh, Chris Bassinet. It's kind of a random one, Max, but as a, as a fellow glasses wearer, I guess, why do, you, why do you wear the goggles during a game and, and not contacts? Is there, is there anything behind that, or is it just, you know, what you prefer? Or what's, what's kind of the story there? Um, I've just – I've never really tried contacts. I always, I just tried glasses one time and I hit really well that, that night. So I just never really have tried it never really gone back. All right, anybody else have any other questions for Max? Okay, that'll wrap it up. Uh, we'll see everybody on Friday. Thanks.